This lesson is about applications of trigonometric ratios. We're talking about tangent, sine, cosine, real world problems, if you will, or at least a teacher's reasonable approximation thereof. Um, I'm losing my voice, so I apologize in advance that I'm going to be even more monotone than I normally am. But you're going to let me slide because you love me like that. All right, we need to find the area of this parallelogram. And uh, how about we just find the area of these two separate shapes, the triangle and the rectangle, add them up, and that should be the parallelogram. Um, so I see that uh, this is 3, so that means this will be 3 over here. OK, um, that's enough information for us to find the um, area of this triangle. All right, you know what? I just had a conversation with myself, and uh, I don't think we're supposed to find the area of the parallelogram, even though that's what the directions say. There's clearly an x right here, and I don't think there's enough information to find the area of the parallelogram. Um, so let's go with whoever made this worksheet messed up. And it wasn't me, so I'm just saying. Um, so if we want to find x, um, in fact, maybe I'll just cross this out and just put find x. Pythagorean theorem, once you realize that this is 3, then uh, it's all about the Pythagorean theorem at that point. So a squared plus b squared equals c squared. So 2 squared plus 3 squared equals x squared. All right, so that's 4 plus 9 equals x squared. 13 equals x squared. Take the square root of both sides. So x is equal to the square root of 13. Um, just in case we're doing decimals, we can do decimals if you want square root of 13. Got to toggle it. So that's 3.6 if you do one decimal place. OK. Uh, that's it for number one. I really I don't think we could find the area. I think that's impossible. All right, problem number two. A 70-foot ramp rises from the first floor to the second floor of a parking garage. The ramp makes a 10-degree angle with the ground. How high above the first floor is the second floor? So let's draw a diagram. All right, so here's a basic picture of what we're dealing with. First floor, second floor, we have a ramp. You imagine cars driving up this thing to get to the next floor of the parking garage. Um, they said a 10% angle with the ground, so that this is your, uh, not 10%, 10 degree angle, so that's like right here, it's 10 degrees. Now when they say a 70 foot ramp, um, it's important to understand, are they talking about the hypotenuse or the distance along the ground? This is the ramp. The ramp is the sloping part of this. The ramp is what the cars would be driving on as they go from floor to floor. So when they say a 70 foot ramp, they're talking about the hypotenuse. So this is 70 feet. Okay, not this bottom down here. Okay, so when they ask um, how high above the first floor is the second floor, we're talking about this distance right here. Okay, how high is it? All right, so we're talking about that side of the triangle. So um, this would be a good chance to use our trig functions. So what do you think? Are we, are we thinking tangent, sine, or cosine? Well, um, x is opposite from the 10 degrees, and uh, 70 is the hypotenuse. So opposite and hypotenuse, that's the sine function. All right, so we say sine of 10 degrees 
all right sine is opposite over hypotenuse so that's x over 70 and uh, we're solving for x so we need to multiply both sides by 70 all right so these will cancel out x equals so we can just put this in our calculator 70 sine 10 so 70 sine 10 degrees okay so 12.2 will round up so 12.2 and we're talking about a distance now so this will be feet 12.2 feet All right, so that is the answer to number two. Okay, how about number three? You see Mr. Wanderer flying a kite in the park. The kite string is 65 meters long. What angle does the string need to form with the ground so that the kite is 30 feet off the ground? Hmm. 65 meters long is the kite string. 30 feet off the ground is the kite. Meters and feet. I have a feeling that um, that's a mistake. And uh, I don't think we're supposed to be converting between feet and meters right now. Um, let's just go with feet. But uh, yeah, hopefully you won't run into that because usually we're consistent with the units so let's just call it feet and go from there so again you should be asking yourself which trig function is the one to use right now well opposite and hypotenuse is it the same situation we were in before yeah I guess it is um, so once again we're gonna do the sine function uh, because sine is opposite over hypotenuse I'm using the variable theta, the Greek letter theta for this angle, because it's traditional to use theta for angles, so get used to it. Um, sine of theta should equal 30 over 65, all right, opposite over hypotenuse. Now if you want to find the angle, what do you do? You use the inverse trig function. So theta will equal the inverse sine of 30 over 65. And then you can just put that in your calculator. Okay, so we'll do second sine for the inverse sine of 30 over 65. So that's 27.5, got to round up. All right, and this is degrees because we're talking about an angle. Okay, so there's your answer to number three. Okay, let's take a look at number four. From the top of a 100 foot lookout tower, a forest ranger spotted a fire at a 25 degree angle of depression. How far from the fire, how far was the fire from the base of the lookout tower? All right, so here's a picture of what we're dealing with. Um, it's a 100 foot tower. Um, so that's gonna be this side of the triangle over here. All right, um, and uh, let's see, what else do they say? 25 degree angle of depression okay um, 25 degree angle de of depression means you know if you're looking straight out um, it's uh, the 25 degrees would be right here it's how many degrees down from the horizontal it is now this angle is the same as this angle right here okay so let's let's go ahead and put it over there all right, from the perspective of the fire, you would call this an angle. 
of elevation. All right, um, but either way, this is the angle. So what are we trying to find? How far was the fire from the base of the lookout tower? So the base of the tower, that's the bottom of the tower. So um, we are being asked to find this distance right here. Okay, from the uh, fire to the bottom of the tower. So looking at the 25 degrees and the X and the 100, which trig function are we dealing with? Well, um, this is opposite from the 25, and this is adjacent. So opposite over adjacent, that is the tangent function. So we will say the tangent of 25 degrees is equal to opposite over adjacent. So we need to solve this for x. Now, um, you should use the shortcut for a problem like this. Anytime you have the variable in the denominator, the um, easiest thing to do is to reverse the denominator with the quantity that's out here by itself. So if you do that, you're going to immediately get x by itself. So x is equal to 100 over the tangent of 25 degrees. And uh, you can just go ahead and put this in your calculator. Okay, 100 over tangent 25. So 100 over tangent of 25. So that's 214.5. Got to round up. And we're talking about feet. All right, so that's how far the fire is from the base of the tower. All right, so that was number four. And number five. And this is the last problem. All right, an eight foot ladder is leaning against a wall. The ladder makes a 53 degree angle with the wall. How high does the ladder reach? All right, so we're talking about an eight foot ladder. Okay, so I'll put the eight feet right there. And uh, they said it makes a 53 degree angle with the wall. So here's the wall, so this must be our 53 degree angle. And uh, we're supposed to find how high does the ladder reach? Okay, so we're trying to find out this distance right here from the ground to the top of the ladder. So, which trig function are we going to use this time? Let's see, from this angle, um, the x here is adjacent, and of course, the 8 feet, the ladder itself, is the hypotenuse. So adjacent hypotenuse, which, which function is that? Um, that's the cosine function. Cosine of 53 degrees adjacent over hypotenuse. So that's x over 8. All right, this time the variable is in the numerator, so it won't help us to switch the denominator with the quantity out here. Instead, we will just multiply by the denominator. All right, multiply by 8 on both sides. So these cancel out. And I can just put 8 cosine 53 into my calculator. and I'm getting 4.8 alright so that is 4.8 feet don't forget your units when you're working on a word problem alright that is it for problem number five and uh, that was the last problem in the lesson so I hope it was helpful I'll see you on the next video